that are often referred to as secondary storage devices. You will have an over chapter 4. This chapter will give an overview of the various ways that exist to store data permanently on special devices, which are often referred to as secondary storage devices. You will have an overview of various commonly used secondary devices, like hard disks, floppy disks, and optical disks. Other devices, like magnetic tapes and flash drives will also be described. This session will explain the need for secondary storage in computers, list their advantages and disadvantages, as well as compare and contrast among various secondary storage devices available. Secondary storage Secondary storage is used to store data and programs when they are not being processed. It is more permanent than main memory as data and programs are retained even when the power is turned off. In Chapter 1, we saw that one component of computer hardware refers to storage devices. In fact, these devices can be further classified as primary and secondary storage devices. They are both used to store information that need to be processed by the computer. However, primary storage devices, that is, RAM, are only used as long as the computer is turned on. Once power goes off, all information present in the RAM of the computer is lost, and we call it volatile memory. Secondary storage devices on the other hand, allow the permanent storage of data or information as long as required by the user. For example, you may want to save an assignment that you will edit or print at a later time. Therefore, by clicking on yes, you can save it to a secondary device and then you can access it later on. Fortunately, the information stored in a secondary device is non-volatile, that is, Information stored is still present, even if power is turned off. Secondary storage device provides a number of benefits, which are Portability, meaning that information can be saved and transported to another location or computer. Therefore, locating and accessing electronic data is much easier and faster than non-electronic means of storing information. Security in such a context where sensitive information can be copied, that is, backups can be made and kept in safe places. High capacity is where secondary devices store practically most operating systems now and other bulky application software. It can store as much data as necessary. And finally, space. Large volume of electronic information can be stored easily, alleviating space required for huge filing cabinets and organizations to store paperwork. Together, space saving, reliability, and convenience lead to cost savings for businesses. There exists different types of secondary storage devices, each of them suitable for a different purpose. They mainly differ in the following aspects. Whether it is about the technology used to store data. Or, the capacity of data they can hold. Or, the size of storage device. Or, the portability of the storage device. Or even, the access time to store data. Currently, the most common forms of secondary storage device are floppy disks, hard disks, optical disks, magnetic tapes, and solid-state devices. Understanding the characteristics of each of them would help you choose the most appropriate storage device to hold your data. In the next section, we will elaborate more on each of the different types of secondary storage devices. Floppy disks Floppy disks, often referred to as diskettes, have been and are still being widely used to store data of small size. They are very easy to use and are portable. They consist of a flat mylar plastic disk that rotates within a hard plastic casing. Data is stored as electromagnetic charges on a metal oxide film coating the mylar plastic. 
Floppy disks also contain a write protect notch that can prevent writing to the disks. A floppy drive is required to access a floppy disk. When the floppy is inserted in the floppy drive, the sliding metal shutter is opened, exposing the Mylar plastic, and a read-write head moves across the exposed disk to either store or retrieve data. Data is recorded on the disk in closed concentric circles, known as tracks. These tracks are being created so that your computer can save data properly on these disks. There exist several types of floppy disks, but the most common one is the 3.5-inch floppy that can store data up to a capacity of 1.44 megabytes, something like 400 typewritten pages. But some manufacturers are already anticipating the need for higher capacity floppy disks and are thus coming up with floppy disks cartridges that will use the same principle as standard floppy disks but providing for higher storage capacities. Some examples include Zip Disks, which is 100 to 250 megabytes, Super Disk, which holds 120 to 250 megabytes, and High Capacity Floppy Disk, HIFD Disk, which has the capacity of 200 megabytes. Hard Disks Hard Disks have been designed to store a very high volume of data. Currently, hard disks can store gigabytes of data, that is, 200 gigabytes, and they are an integral part of the computer. Most operating systems are stored in hard disks and on materials, that is, application software, documents, images, music files, etc., that you save on your computer is stored in the hard disk. Similar to floppy disks, data is stored in closed concentric circle called tracks on the platters, and a hard disk may contain several platters, forming hard disk packs, that increase the capacity of data that can be stored by the device, as shown in figure 1. In contrast to floppy disks, data is stored on a metal platter, in the form of magnetic spots. The metal platter is sealed inside a disk drive that protects the platter and, as well, enables reading and writing to the disk. Sometimes, some hard disk may fail due to a head crash resulting in loss of data and this is due to various reasons such as improper handling of hard disks, voltage surge, malfunctioning of read or write head, and more. Figure 2 is a detailed picture of the hard disk. Base casing is the bottom mounted heatsink in a hard disk driver casing. Spindle is responsible for turning the hard disk platters, allowing the hard drive to operate. Slider and the actuator are critical to improving the seek time of a hard disk. SCSI interface connector provides a faster data transmission rates. Jumper pins are designed to slide over and connect metal two pins together so that electricity can flow between them. Power connector will carry a significant amount of electrical power. Also, find on the figure the tape seal, the ribbon cables attaching heads to logic board, the platters, the case mounting holes, as well as the cover mounting holes. All these are well illustrated on the figure. Hard disks, apart from their large data holding capacity, is useful in their access time. They provide fast access both for reading and writing. That is why it is always faster to open a document present on a hard disk rather than on a floppy. Optical disk. An optical disk is a compact disk or CD. The optical disk became the preferred medium for music, movies, and software programs because of its many advantages. Compact, lightweight, durable, and digital, the optical disk also provides a minimum of 650 megabytes of data storage. They come in the form of a thin plastic disk with a printed label layer on one side and a reflective layer on the other side onto which a high laser beam will read or write data depending on the type of optical disk being used. A blank optical disk can be purchased in many formats and can be used to store digital data. Furthermore, computer systems usually have access to these storage media via CD drives that contain a special lens to read and or write data on the disks. 
The data transfer rate describes the amount of data that the drive will be able to read from the CD and transfer to the computer in kilobytes per second. The transfer rates will vary depending on the speed of the drive. The speed that you will need will depend on what you will be using the drive for. Typical speeds range from 12x to 52x. Actually, the rotating speed determines the rate at which data is transferred from the computer to the disk and vice versa. A 32x drive will transfer 4.8 megabytes of data per second compared to 3.6 megabytes of data transfer per second for a 24x drive. The faster the drive, therefore, the faster data can be read from the CD and used by the computer. The CD drive will be used for tasks such as installing new software. Currently, there exist three basic types.